Alright guys, well, it is a gray gloomy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this steamy, it is a Wednesday, March 8th, 2023 here in the collapse of global industrial civilization in the great state of Texas and uh, I have been dealing with Skype support. Anybody who does not understand what the collapse of global industrial civilization looks like, I challenge you to contact Skype support. But now that I finally got that out of my way and uh, went over to the mainstream media, and I guess the, the rage today is that uh, hilarious distraction with a capital D about uh, how Tucker Carlson uh, passionately hates Donald Trump. There you go. So while the entire planet is having a field day with the revelation that Tucker Carlson cannot stand Donald Trump, I, uh, I moved along from there. I might come back to that Doomer Porn channel over at Medium.com, but I found right here at Collapse Chronicles, right here in my own mailbag, my own comment section. We're going to have, the, have this long comment from a fellow Doomer. I have never heard of this man. I know nothing about him. Never heard of this man. Derek Baum. Derek Baum uh, has a question for me after, uh, but he wants to open up the table for a touchy discussion here in the Doomosphere while everyone else talking about whether or not Tucker Carlson despises Donald Trump. We're going to get down to what the planet really needs to be talking about. This, this is what Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump are distracting us from. Take it away, Derek Baum. <clears throat> Hello, Sam, and everyone else in the Doomosphere. I am sick of all the moaning and sick of all the hopium about the typical collapse issues and solutions. Honestly, geoengineering with mirrors or sulfates would have the most stupid and sh would have to be the most stupid and short-sighted thing humans have thought of since bioengineering with cane toads. Can we start talking like adults? There is an obvious way out. Hmm, an obvious way out. But it's not something anyone wants to talk about. Since the subject I am about to raise will disturb people, I am going to ease my fellow Doomers into the topic with a story about kangaroos before I get too heavy. So, dear Doomer, you have been warned. <clears throat> When we get too many kangaroos in Australia, okay, I guess uh, he is an Aussie. When we get too many kangaroos in Australia, we cull the population. It is considered humane to kill thousands of them by shooting them. This avoids damage to the environment and prevents prolonged starvation and suffering of the animals. Makes sense so far. Uh, anyone having bad thoughts yet? Stop reading now if you cannot handle where this is going. Despite our refusal to consider such unpleasant things, I am convinced that some humans will engineer a terrible virus to cull 
our global population. Look what happened with Corona panic. Now imagine a virus with an unforeseen high mortality or infertility characteristic and imagine it being engineered, targeted, and dispersed to create a rapid pandemic to call the humans from 9 billion back to a couple of million. And I'm not sure that counts as an unforeseen high mortality or infertility characteristic, but anyway, uh, I think we know what he's talking about here. Hmm. Isn't this a good way to dodge the bullet? If you are a selfish and callous human with the power to do so, I see a scenario coming where this happens and the instigators protect their interest with a vaccine and by bunkering down somewhere for a couple of months. I assume there are plenty of rich and powerful psychopaths in our global community, and I am sure the viral weapons technology has already been developed and could be batched up anytime. Are you going to get that bug or not? I wonder if you think this scenario should be considered and discussed. I think it's valid and should be brought into focus since it changes the future outlook a great deal, not to mention prepping and survival. The problem is that this subject is too much of a taboo. People don't like to talk about population control when it applies to them for obvious reasons, but it is probably going to happen. I am hoping to start this discussion to learn what others think. Sam, do you dare talk about this? Hmm. Well, I had to think about this. So the first time I, I replied, uh, the YouTube cop bots immediately ripped down my own comment on my own channel, which happens all the time, by the way, guys, uh, that YouTube probably rips down over half of my own comments uh, on my own channels. So anyway, I had to repurpose my response and uh, apparently the YouTube cop bots are okay with this answer. <clears throat> I have been advocating for the sterilization of the human race for years, though I have not crossed the culling line yet. Obviously, it would be nice if the human race would voluntarily sterilize itself into oblivion, and I am doing my part towards those ends, you know, by getting a vasectomy at age 22 before I had any of these little planet nibbling little uh, bundles of joy. But since we all know that is never going to happen, I am an ardent adherent at putting human sterilizing agents in the public water supply, the chemtrails, the GMOs, the vaccines, or whatever else the clueless moron conspiracy wackos think the nefarious they are already doing in their mythical, non-existent, and laughable New World Order depopulation agenda. Of course, the problem 
with this method is that these various sterilizing agents would jump the shark from the parasitic plague of humans over to our fellow earthlings. And that would be a real tragedy. I am confident that somebody somewhere, most likely a nine-year-old Hindu boy living in a mud hut in Pakistan, is on the case. Let us wish him good luck and Godspeed. So I hope that answers uh, the question of if Sam Mitchell is willing to discuss this topic. And uh, yeah, not quite ready to cross the calling line yet, although I'm sure I wouldn't have to uh, sit here for too long to think of a, a good place to start the calling process. But anyway, uh, now that uh, we have gone through the mail, I will decide whether or not to dip my toe into the cauldron of doomer porn known as medium.com because me and the little dog need to get ready to go to a picking party with uh, a bunch of my lovable clueless friends in Austin, Texas. Are you ready to go to a picking party with our lovable clueless friends? Get out there and enjoy a picking party with your own clueless lovable friends while you still can before the culling begins. Bye guys.